officials tonight, Lee Cassell, Jeff Clark, and Pat Driscoll inside the Tucker Center that normally seats Koprovica from the block, one dribble, sends it top of the key, and Evans connects on the three. Here's Daniels, shot clock is down to six on the drive, he sends it out. And the three-pointer is good to reciprocate from Jericho Helms. So this Florida State starting five, the first deviation in eight games for Leonard Hamilton. And the first career start in 37 career games for Raekwon Evans. Raekwon Gray has the three, and it's all threes, the first three baskets. Hayes works the first 10 seconds of the shot clock. Here's Helms, wants another one, and he has the answer on the other wing for three, six all. He put it, they try to break you down physically so that you can't function mentally. Cross court pass and a floater, beautifully done for Gray. Played for Freddie Johnson at Greensboro Day. Helms stymied by Barnes on the post, one number four gets past another for the bucket. Actually, a little bit of traffic, two guys both. Underberg provides some trouble for Barnes on the hedge. He recalibrates, and the long shot falls for Anthony Polite. Pay in that exchange. Be aggressive, be the aggressor. Offensively, pack out the personnel to do so. Underberg flies in, rejects Polite. Waiting on the other block, Ray Quan Gray stuffs it through. Six and three overall, two and two. In ACC play, every game they've played in the ACC has been close. All of them decided by five points or fewer. Gray puts it up, and Barnes flushes it through to stretch the lead to six. Generating some easy ones. You worry about knocking off the rust. Having not played for 15 days, that's how you do it. Let your defense trigger the operation. Hey! Drive to the basket, and the finish there. One group together when it's not going to be that way come game time. Uh, interesting pass fake there from Helms to give up the three for the two, but it drops anyway. Defense runs away from the hot hand. Helms knocks it down. Too easy. On the drive, reverse lay, and beautiful from MJ Walker. And especially for NC State right now, as that one is swatted by Angolm. Here come the Seminoles. They've got the much bigger squad on the floor at the moment. Into the corner, three-point try, it is good. Sadar Calhoun reigns it in. That defense, and go with the shot block, spurs the break. Guys understanding roles, filling spots. You find the shooter, MJ Walker finds Calhoun. Lose the ACC's assist leader, who did it in two of his four seasons with Markel Johnson, is a big impact. Well, seemingly trapped, MJ Walker found the escape valve, and Dom there ready to put it in. They have only had all of their players available. That's not to say fully healthy, just available in three of ten games this year. And goal again. Four of opportunities not being presented to NC State. Helms on the drive from the corner. Funderburk with a bobble and a miss. Goes the other way under the rim and lays it in. A much-needed Wolfpack basket. Or rather, Helms, beg your pardon. Another easy finish, Nathaniel Jack off the bench. Try and stop Cam Hayes. Florida State has come back down the floor with a foot on the accelerator just about every time. And Jack, he's ready, staying ready. As a matter of fact, only played 12 minutes in their four ACC games. Just trying to give them a body in the post to go up against the 7-1 Koprovica who catches and dominates. Was the quarterback Favre or Brady or Culpepper? <laughs> hey, as we're talking touchdowns, turnovers for touchdowns right here. Evans with the finish on the run out. First 14 minutes of the first half. Much needed bucket, Devin Daniels. Yeah, especially because Helm scoring the basketball is when this team's at their best. He's off to a good start. Draw the whistle, put the pressure on the officials to blow it by an aggressive drive. How about that finish? Scotty Barnes off the trampoline. Pack just don't have the size to compete in this one. Not with how it's being played. Wow. Whoa. The elevation. He Barnes at 6'9", then Shaq Moore, the freshman. What are you doing up there? Shaq Moore, don't hurt him. Not just solid in the ACC, but solid nationally. Hey, try, try. Hey. From the corner is Walker. The three is good. 
numbers for the pack. Three in the air. And they do get the triple. Peoples Hellums. And now it's Daniels. Allen with the left. Yes. Another poor well, Jordan. That's I not think there's... Go ahead, Mike. There's going to be a clamoring to see where Florida State ends up in these next rankings after we saw a matchup. Can't say can't say enough about what I've seen from the Hokies and, and that that team under Coach Young. Just a very tough-minded group, very gifted shooters, good with the basketball. I, I want to say the same thing about watch out for Wake Forest when Coach Forbes gets his group there. At Wake Forest, another program. We had some concern at the beginning of this game, given the lineup changes. Scotty Barnes didn't start for the first time. He sat not even three minutes. And you have Manny Bates out. But what has been the biggest difference that this has become a 23-point game? Beverly with a peek inside. It's Hayes. He's got it taken away. Ten seconds to score for Florida State. They don't need that because Barnes is down the floor in five. And quickly back the other way. Using the allotted time left, Devin Daniels with a dunk. But boy, Florida State. It's got to be better with the basketball. Seven first half turnovers. Can't look at the scoreboard, worry about the deficit. Got to be in attack mode. Devin Daniels didn't get going in that first half. Drives like that go a long way. One that is going to be an uphill climb because of the deficit. And of course, no Manny Bates. I was interested in how that would play out with two teams that love to pick up full court. Hayes, Thunderbird picks it up. It's spun away by Copravica. The follow is good, and the foul on the seven-footer. Get a challenge for this Knowles offense, something they did not see in the first 20. There's just no help. Defense there. MJ Walker stuffs it. Florida State on the run out. It's Walker sending it back for Polite. Copravica fighting for position. He's got the size advantage and two points. MJ Walker over the weekend, he said, you know, the players got together, they had their workouts. Some of what they did, just trying to stay in shape, was running sprints on the inclines in the parking garages around campus. Competitors just the same on that court. <laughs> Here's Barnes. He gives it up, and it's another Florida State dunk. This time it's polite with a rude finish for Florida State. Our friend Chuck Walsh, the sports information guru for the Seminoles, lets us know 57 ties the score record for the most points in the first half of the conference game on his right leg. He started off with white sleeves on both legs. But that's an interesting look. You know, the high socks? No, just for fashion. That's it. <laughs> no practical purpose. It's called fashion, Mike. That's what, they, that's what they tell us. There is no resistance at the rim. There is no fear from the Knowles in driving it. White puts it on the deck. Floater. Doesn't get the bounce. The tip there from Angol. Another in a long line of successful seven-footers to have suited up for Leonard Hamilton. He played back there. Barnes passed up the look from three. 13-foot turnaround. Falls for the freshman. This is a take notice conference game. I mean, this is a, a massive statement as big as any of that have come this year in the ACC. I played a game in 15 days. What were their conditioning, their execution? How much rust would we see? You've seen the depth, you've seen everybody play their role, and you've seen elite execution. The guy that means so much to that team, and they haven't lost in conference yet. So Virginia is another team under the radar because of those losses. Now they look for Gonzaga, and of course the upset to San Francisco. 38 points of the paint, Mike. A lot of it's coming at the rim, getting whatever they want. Rare fast break opportunity for the Wolfpack, finished off by Sebron. Once again, the help defense is deficient. Evans with a clear path to the basket. 72 years old for Leonard Hamilton in his 19th season, but he's had Stan Jones with him all 19 seasons of Florida State, 24 seasons they've been together overall for upcoming game film. And so they've become film rats in that sense, not only because they love it, but there's just not a lot else to do these days.
This is a culture that's been cultivated from Coach Hamilton and what's led to a lot of wins and guys making a lot of money at the next level. Uh, but also, more importantly, Coach Hamilton will be the first one to tell you. And then Louisville, one of the best teams in the ACC right there with NC State hosting Boston College. And all three games are here for you on ACC Network and the ESPN app. The threes continue to fall for FSU and Nate Jack. Very well. There hasn't been a lot of pressure or resistance applied, which makes those numbers skyrocket. But at this clip, for what's nearing a full 40, in a conference game, the best they've ever shot was 66% against Clemson back in February of 2017. 7.40 to go. And they stay hot, 89-58. Like you got punched in the mouth, how are you going to respond? Well, Markel Johnson, C.J. Bryce, guys like that, are there coupled with what you have in Daniels, Funderburg, Helms. You flush it and move forward. But I think you use it as motivation to say, we're going to find tough matchups. We've got to overcome it, not just quite simply say, it's a bad matchup, it wasn't going to go our way. Those who care to be there to watch and support, so there's a sense of pride that plays. You've got even just a select group of family and friends. It can be 50. Feels like 500 in this COVID time. I mean, done. It's a lift. It's a benefit. Well, record watch for Florida State. 66%. They're shooting almost 71% right now. And their highest point total ever in an ACC game back in 1993. They dropped 111 against Wake Forest. And with that threat to be able to create open opportunities for Devin Daniels, too, where he's had the ball a lot more in his hands this year than perhaps Kevin Keats would like. Keller steps back, long two, air balls it. Moore is showing some of that tenacity there. Uncontested, Florida State up 95-66. This is a team that's, that's lost the last couple. Again, they're going to lose the turnover margin here to make it three straight. You don't want to pile on, but you want to say, we need more fight from our group. This is a lopsided matchup to light a fire. And I know what kind of guy, what kind of coach, and the capability of a guy like Coach Keats. He'll have them bounce back. But this night, Mike, is most clearly. And has continued to build on that with 11 in the second half. Stop hearing about that. As much as I watch, I called it the power rankings, the ECC. It's the accounting. <laughs> Come on, what are we doing? I know Luke Jordan Hancock's. Luke's are all kind of messed up. So I'm going to talk to Luke about his rankings. Uh, I would imagine that it was Florida State favored by a bucket. Yeah, so three and a half. Okay. <laughs> Somebody made some money tonight. It's three very quick matchups for Florida State. Coming up next, we've got Louisville and Wake Forest. Louisville puts its undefeated ACC record on the line. Tough one for the Wolfpack. They'll be all right. Coach Keats will have them playing, but Coach Hamilton, hat tip to you and this team coming back after 15 days off. Special unit with bright things ahead for Coach Hamilton and the Florida State Seminoles.